So dude, what, what is going on with the story here? Look at all this. You think he locked himself or someone in here? No, locked himself because of where the locks are. We're just putting everything together. Well, I imagine if people are around and they've hid someone who someone doesn't know about the streets. They're not to have some secret child. No, you know, back in the day, if one person like was special ed, they would lock them somewhere to hide them from other people. It could be. I mean, I know what yeah. it's locked. Yeah, the two keys are at the desk. Wait, let's see if they get they work. Oh my god. This is the tower. This is beautiful. Guys, look at this. Surrounded in the bushes and trees, like always, lies another abandoned chateau. You can barely make it out. At one point, this was the owner's back garden. What is this thing? Is this a well? Let's see the well real quick. The well. Check out the, oh. Stepped on something. Check out their well. I don't see wells too often, especially in abandoned places. So seeing this and it's super overgrown is awesome, but the well has been closed. Don't fall. <laughs> it's, oh, they had a watchtower. Some sort of tower right there. All right, explorers, we are here inside this abandoned house. This was a philosopher's house. Now there are, there is some sort of quotes and writings that we're gonna find and the writings here talk about missing people and we only know that through Google Translate. So we don't know what's going on, but the person who lived here, who bought the place and owned it, was a famous philosopher and he wrote many different quotes and different ideas and stories that people probably read today. Uh, this was his house, he had a family, and this is what's left. Um, Let's go. This is the first room of the house. It's not bad. There is stuff set up. I mean, you got amazing, cool little keys. I like collecting keys. I think these are cool. I mean, I'm not gonna take anything from here, but I'm just saying I like cool keys. You got a dope little uh, music boy. Music boy, that's fresh. The music boy 150. <laughs> it is cool though. Bed's all set up nice. Nothing too much here though. What is it? It's like a fairground game. You'd throw the ball. Oh, look. You'd throw the ball on it. Hey, how fit am I in France, frogs? You would throw the ball on it. <laughs> it would be a frog in France, though, guys. Yeah, it would. It would, but what, so what do you mean? It's a you fair throw the ball game? On it and it goes through and it lands in here and you get points. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, you just throw it in. It's kind of cool. It's a cool little old school game. That's for dang sure. We're in the hallway. Oh, dude. Whoa, dude. No, that's epic. This is the actual pictures of the outside of this place. Look at, that's the person who lived here. That's the, oh, oh, that's awesome. That's literally what we just walked on. That's the house before it got overgrown. Look at it, how beautiful the flowers are. I was just talking about the Rapunzel looking tower thing right there. Epic, this is epic. I love to death when we could see before pictures of a house. See the people that used to live here. We're in it now. The stories are here, it's amazing. For some reason, I really love this lamp. I don't know, I want one for my house. <laughs> but check out this side, perfectly all set up. A record player, records, their photos, all still here. This is awesome. Seeing photos, look at this, this is amazing to me. Seeing the, the past, the people that used to live here, there's their kids that used to went to school. I'm assuming this was their, their, their school or some sort of camp. I don't know, yeah, it's something. Oh, dude, no, I love these. The old flashlights. These are my favorite things. Does it work though? Probably not. Nah, this is an antique, man. This is sick. But, you know, the miners used to wear them and stuff, too. That's true, man. Yeah. What's going on? We're just trying to work out in this room here, a minute, you can see. But someone was either locking himself in a cupboard in their own little bedroom, in the kitchen, or dining area. But some of the subscription on the wall is like some stubborn 50-year-old passed away and, like, and their name on the wall. So I don't know if 
that person was either locking himself in that little room away from the rest or someone else. Like, you think someone might have went, someone went mad? Wait, wait, how do you know? You have the Google translation. Yeah, we're gonna use it. I'm... Oh, let's go check it out. What? Yes. Wait, so the right, the, it starts here then. I thought that was- The door went up in there in two seconds. So dude, what, what is going on with the story here? Look at all this. What does the quotes mean? Dave said it's like missing kids or people? No, so these are like strange quotes now. Well, remember he was a philosopher. Well, that's what I mean. And if you notice, they're, they're actually got different names on them. So unless he was just re reinciting these quotes from different philosophers, or if they had a group of them, they were just writing the quotes. I'll tell you what is really weird. If you look there, what does that tell you there? You think he locked himself or someone in here? No, locked himself, because look where the locks are. There's no locks on the outside, but there's dead bolts on the inside. So what was he hiding from? You think he could have went mad and then, and then when he gets out, he writes things on the walls. Cause dude, this is kind of crazy. My, my theory, he was probably locking himself in at night. As soon as daylight came up, he was writing stuff on the walls and then locking himself back in at night. It's possible. Yeah. You don't, we just don't know the, the story. That's the thing, it's so weird. We just knew he was a philosopher, but this, this is crazy. Use Google Translate if you want. You can read some of these. I don't, I'm not sure what they say, but you can find out. In the comments below, can someone translate this for everyone? And I will pin the comments. I will pin that comment for you. Here's some more right here. Oh, this is a big one. Or maybe it's two. And then this one, this is two of them right here. And this was version two, 2001. And that what's up? It is pretty, it's creepy when you see a bunch of writing on the walls. Cause then it does, you know, it connects to like horror movies cause they do it. So, okay. I mean, we come across writing on the walls all the time. Yeah. All these just stupid, stupid... Yeah, upside down crosses, you know, the, the cheap stuff. The old DP. <sighs> when you've got stuff like this, actual sentences and, and verses, and it's, it's signed and stuff, it's a bit more scary, I think. Yeah, it's... Because wrote it is, is actually put time and effort into this. You know what's cool? Look at the wallpaper. These, like, like pictures, right? Like pictures? Yeah, yeah. Like a whole bunch of them. Picture frames. Creepy, actually. Definitely more to this mansion than we know. Than we think, yeah. Damn. That's creepy to lock yourself in here, though. You see this stuff? This is cool as hell. So I think this, this guy just like... We don't, yeah, yeah. we don't even know. Take a look at this area and tell, tell us what you think. Just by the yeah. way, not, not as influencing you, but what do you see here? Oh, no, oh, no look. Yes. Look, there's a small door there. What if, what if it wasn't? Unless it was a children's room, children's bedroom, and they were locking a child in, it would explain the deadlock at the top, they can't reach it, and then he would exit out of that door there, and then I think it brings you through here. Then what's in here? Oh, we have to shut this one. Can it even move? No, we don't want you to open. Yeah. See, there's a door there. It's a bunch of old jars. Oh, they were good. Kids' boots. <gasps> Oh my god. There was kid oh. boots. Right there. Hang on. Just to show you, kid boots, all full cobwebs, hasn't been moved in a while. So what is that? What's that about? Think that their kids' room was here? Or like the ba <gasps> No! You know back in the day, if one person like was special ed, they would lock them somewhere to hide them from other people? It could be. During like events and stuff? During events? During any- No, not, not, a, not events, but just in general maybe too. Like, maybe like a, like a- Having family over or something. Yeah, because like dude, it could be right here. Maybe not even that. Maybe it's just they thought it was a safe way to keep them safe and not messing around with everything. It's know. true. I what? just noticed something about this bed. What? There's a spot that you can chain someone's feet down. What do you mean? No. Look at that. No, no, it's not. It's yeah. not real. It's not looked. It's on the other side as well. That's just yeah. on the bed in oh, okay. From the children's bed. Definitely. It's you a strange you place. You have a small light there. Dude, the, the it is. Switch. It's custom. It wasn't like built. No, no. Where's the light switch go to? Yeah, where does that go? See, cause this this is a closet. So maybe back here was all closet space. The light switch, bro. It goes upstairs. I think the light switch goes upstairs. Bro, what the? F this is actually kind of creepy. Yeah. What the hell? 
Look at that, look. Nice there. It goes up there. Where does that go? And it doesn't come out here. No, it goes, it goes up. Yeah. To like the actual owner's room. I'm gonna try to translate some of the stuff that I see. Oh no, walls. no, 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 bro. It goes on there. Oh, why does that? Oh, it goes down there too. That's like a fuse box of some sort. That goes to that as well. Try to translate some. Let me see what it says. Well, dude, here we go, right here too. These are some of the kids. It's definitely a mystery house. Whoa, this dude, this is awesome. Look how old this radio is. I didn't even notice this piece. That's an antique. Look at that. I like this. So this right here says, so still knows in your books, ask the ant to the cicada. Not at all. I painted all summer, perched on the stepladder. So you have become reasonable, certainly, but you learn to read, believe me, it can always help. I don't, I don't even understand what it's that supposed, could mean. I know the philosophy quotes, and maybe the Google Translate's not good enough. Because what is the one you said? You said this missing kid. Yeah, this, yeah, go on that one. Uh, this one? This is about family and sunscreen. But there's something up the top. You have to go back here to do it, right? Yeah. Two gregarious holidays. I prefer my fam familiar terrace with or without sunscreen. It's a matter of... I can't translate that word. Oh, this one would have said the Heather. Yeah, see, so he got a whole different thing than what you're getting. What are you getting? Yeah, look at my phone. Well, you ain't getting nothing, but you got the Heather. Oh. The top bit. Oh, I did see it for a minute. So what is all? <laughs> Dang, it's not working. It's hungry for, let's see how it's changed. It's a matter of, it's, it's yeah, changed it's about not. four times. Maybe you have to stand closer. Let's come more in the same. This one here is about 50 year old. He's probably the 50 year old. Yeah, I don't know. This one right here. There's got to be someone in the comments who can read French. Yeah, because first Dave is like someone's missing or someone died. Okay, well, this one here is something about the loss hey. of the 50 year old. Lost? I got something interesting right here. What is this? This one in green. Uh huh. It says. Here I feel no loneliness. What knows? Maybe I'm not really alone. That sounds like someone went yeah, like a mad quote, so like he like he's schizophrenia. I don't know. Either that, or so this is a the loss, but just it feels like the, the hauntings of the past still keep him company. Yeah. yeah, that's something. And this one here is about the memories. Read this one. It's something about his stubborn fifty-year-old. Oh. Or she was stubborn in her name as well. This place has a story. Yeah. And a story that we don't know. Yeah. It's good to investigate. 100%. Yeah. On the walls, in Ketapisser, on the sunny trees, on my stubborn 50 years. Okay, who's 50 years? Joyce, your name, Lafferte. Huh. I don't know. That doesn't seem too bad. But that one's something. But this one doesn't look like it's caught in. It looks like it's bullet points or some sort. Of like. Yeah. Well, different quotes. I mean, yeah, I don't know how this, what this is like. Hey, check this out. What? Look at around us, right? What do you see? Green? Right. This one right here says, Each summer, the greenery of nature reassures me. Wow. He's right in, Yeah, dude, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm a 50 year old. Could you imagine, though? If you truly did lock a child in there, and while that child's being locked in there, he's just inscribing these things on the walls. I mean, yeah. So you never know. The bed is weird. It is my imagination. This whole thing could be an imagination, and yeah. someone just moved the bed in there. But I watched the huh? The person that's shot in there, how do we know they're not the ones that when they get in there? It was a kid. Green, it was a kid. It was a yeah, it was a kid that was in there because their boots in the corner. No, no. Oh, yeah, there is a lock on the outside. Yeah. yeah. And it's been choosing this side. But that's all. Yeah. That's a key lock. Yeah, it's a key lock. It's actually locked. Oh, I, mean. I know, but yeah. it's locked. Yeah, the two keys are at the desk. Wait, let's see if they get They work. Where are those? Oh, it's not that one. It's too big. The one here about the green of nature makes me feel better again. Nothing. Nah, not good. Where's the shot? Don't you feel oh. like that they were trying what? to bust out? 
Can you imagine if someone's in there low down, they're kicking the bottom of the door because the hinges all come away. It does look a bit broken. If it's at the bottom and all, you know where they can come. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks like the way this was made. What's the disguise? Because well, like, imagine if people around and they, they've hid someone who someone doesn't know about the streets. Well, they don't like they have some secret yeah, child. Yeah. 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 You know, sometimes they would hide them away back in the day. They would keep them like hidden That's away. That's crazy. You never know, Visitors come over. You just don't know. What's this about a song? Is that a song you're talking about? Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll check out that right now. Because I do see the word sun right there. But Dave, if you look at here, there's a tiny door there. Seized his living environment with a reason in his happiness. Is that seized his living environment, as in put him in a cupboard? Yeah, yeah, seized, seized the living environment with me in prison, basically. What the f***? That a guest... Symphus, what's that? To so fain with reason is happiness. That changed again. Yeah, so it keeps like the words are changing on the no, wall. It's which we're reading reading. Because it's not yeah. like bold text, because it's a scribbles. Yeah. It's, it's hard to decipher. It's something about seized. Something's going on. Dang. It's weird because, like, I ain't even amping this up for YouTube, nor do I care. I actually want to find the right history when I film these places, but. I mean, that, come on, you can't tell me that's not weird, but we're gonna go upstairs and check out the rest of this house or else I could be in there all day. Actually, no, I gotta show you one more spot on this floor. I'll show you this really quick for the tour of the house. Um, oh, is that bug alive? I think it is. Ew. Anyways, yeah, let me show you this right here. Huge, like, garage. Massive doors. But that's really all I want to show you. <laughs> Located in a small village in France was a woman who lived alone until 2002. The woman who lived here was taken away by her parents to a mental hospital because her mental health was declining. She left the house around 50 years old. We don't know the exact details on what happened, but what we do know is she was hearing voices in her head and other things, which is why she moved her bed into the kitchen and decided to sleep in it. I think it was schizophrenia and paranoia. Now some of the messages on those walls were apparently from some of the voices and thoughts she heard in her head so she decided to write them onto the kitchen walls. Now what's insane is that once she was taken away she was never brought back there again and the house stayed exactly the same, frozen in time. I think this is a really interesting story because we've done a lot of abandoned houses and each one tells a different story. But this one's really unique and I haven't seen anything like this before. At the time of recording this video, we didn't know the exact research on what happened to her. So this is why the voiceover is coming later. So you can obviously see that our thoughts were all up in the air on why this is all like this and we were freaking out. Really quick guys, before we get right back in this video, I just want to talk about the new merch I just dropped. It's some of my favorite merch and you guys might not hear, you might not want to support it, whatever, just skip on. But for those who do guys, this is the first one I'm dropping right now. This is my first ever all black windbreaker. Uh, this is the Creature Edition, uh, so you got Beyond the Dark right here, you got the Bigfoot kind of or whatever, I, I don't really want to name it Bigfoot, but a monster or creature uh, footprint right here, it's embroidery, and then in back, I don't know if you can see it, I, I, I may have a reflection, but this is sick, you got like Bigfoot somewhere right there, you got a campfire, you're camping, you got the steps. Um, all over there. I think it's so cool. I love this. This feels good, but we're not done. And here's the next piece. Here we go right here. This is the Beyond the Dark Death Tarot card. Uh, this is a lavender and green. I thought it came out amazing. It is a thick hoodie. Great quality. Everyone's gonna like it. I mean, oh, dude, I love wearing it. I'm just very happy. Again, all the merch, everything you guys buy goes right back into this channel and helps us keep going and traveling to make more videos. And right here, my friends, is the new Sweatpants, Beyond the Dark sweatpants. Kind of got inspired by Blackcraft. I don't know if you guys know that brand, but this is so sick. I mean, I should actually put some on right now, but I already have my a few of my friends that are local put them on, and they love it, and they say they're now their favorite sweatpants. And it goes good. This is a, uh, it's not a baggy fit. It's more of like go outside wearing joggers fit. It's like, or running fit. It's, it's just perfect. This is my favorite. So get these, check them out. And I got one last piece, and it's... Also my favorite. And here, my friends, is inspired by Hellfire. This is the Baseball Tee Ghost Hunting Club t-shirt. I really like it. You got the EMF meter, the REM pod. I just, again, I love all my merch and I'm super excited. This one's great because it doesn't have to represent Beyond the Dark or anything. Any Ghost Hunter lover might want this shirt or someone that loves Stranger Things. So thanks again. Please, if you want to support, link in the description down below, riseabove.shop. 
Thanks again. Let's get back into the video. So I thought about this, right? If let's say they did kidnap or put the kid in, in there for whatever reason, my thing is, is like, if it's to keep them quiet, it would work because there's always someone in the kitchen area, usually in a household. So that's not going to, it's going to make them feel like they're safe at the same time because there's someone's right next to them. Hell no. No? No, I'm never going to, you never, I mean, you don't want to lose somebody's face. It's imprisonment, right? As a, as a dad, you would never lock your child in, in a small enclosed space like that. You would get them used to the idea of, be, of being around people and teach them not to be screaming and, you know, and the, disrupting everyone while you say you're in the dining room. Mm. That, to me, is something else. Here's the thought. Well, I'm just feeling like, why would we lock someone else? Well, like, why would we want to lock someone in the kitchen area where right. everyone would go into in a public spot? Well, right, and this is, this is why I'm saying this is an interesting thought. What if he locked himself in there? I know it's from the inside. No, but it's a children's bed. It's a children's bed. Unless he was just weird. There's children books on there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read some of the inscriptions like this one, where he says he feels so alone, but yet he's not, it, it says to me that no one comes to visit. Now, maybe he did have a child. You never know how someone's brain will, will take, say, if they lost the child. Mm -hmm. Maybe they would pretend that that was the, the child's remote. You just don't know. Yeah, it. true. We're speculating, but it is a It's totally situation. speculating. And that's the thing about this house is, exactly, we know nothing of this place except the philosopher thing. And that's because that's what the French people nicknamed this abandoned place as. Um, I even asked a, uh, someone that explores, what's the history? And they didn't even know either. So, I don't know. It's very odd. Okay. All right, so this is the living room, the place we want to see. Check this out. Look at the old school baby carriage. You never see these. I've seen a few in the United States in rare occasions, though, in abandoned places. But, you know, that's amazing. The chess set is dope. Look at that. The couch is completely red, but with all the asbestos and well, mold and ceiling drops, it's looking destroyed. But the, again, the chest set's really cool. Is there anything in here? Nothing too much. Look at that. What is that, alcohol? I don't even know. Pharmacies? I can't read nothing, so I don't know. They have a lot of cool old photos here. Whoa, what is this? There's something with snails. Is this snail food? It says danger, though. What do you think of that? We just found snail food in France. What have you found? Some, I don't know. Some, I, I th it shows snails on it, so I thought so. <laughs> but it says da danger Not something. To kill snails. No, oh, it's, it's to kill them? No, it's for the pet snails. Is Because <laughs> yeah, they, to, they tend to have them as pets and then eat them. <laughs> oh my god. Well, they kill them off ready to eat them. Oh, I don't well, know. Well, I'm pretty sure it's uh, snail repellent or it yeah. kills them oh. with some kind of uh, salt. Because yeah. if you throw salt on yeah. a snail, it like, kind of makes Oh, true, it. yeah. It's bait. Uh, true. This is the unwanted snails. This is when they're not hungry anymore. Yeah, true. All right. <laughs> He's from the UK, so them in France, they got something going on. <laughs> but the room here is gold. The setup here is beautiful. Look at this guy putting his hand through the window. Look at him peeking through. <laughs> Look at <It's> that. <laughs> yeah, no, this place is really freaking cool. I haven't even been upstairs yet. I'm just checking everything. That's the thing. The old tennis rackets. Look at that. Their knife. Their knife set is still in the case. That's awesome. You know, I'm showing you guys some of their information, so you can kind of find more stuff about the house. Maybe letters about them. You guys can use Google Translate. Screenshot it. Work together. Just to learn about them. It's really cool. Again, you know we're in France when you got a ton of hats. They love their hats. Some of their old traveling photos. They have a bunch of them. Postcards. Oh, 
Okay, this is cool. This is actually a photo of their spot in the backyard. This is actually how we got into the house. We climbed right here and got inside. Look at that. They love their fall weather. It's so beautiful here too. It's a shame when you see a house turn to this, but you're seeing the photos of the place from before and how beautiful it was. Check her out right there. One of the owners sitting, sitting in her house. I wonder who took the photo. I can't believe this. This is the well I seen in their backyard. Check this out. Look, Look at this. Wow. This, like I said, this is my favorite thing about exploring abandoned places. Seeing this, we're just putting everything together. Maybe not the history, but just the before and after what this house looked like is all right here in the house. Again, that's the well I was standing with the overgrown grass. She loved her, lawn, her, her uh, yard. I was going to say lawn. Oh, here's their overview. Look at this. It's so cool. Look at their house without flowers on it. Looking all around for new photos. Oh my God. Again, a painting. 1993, it was dated. And again, we, we climbed up the hill from the back and came right over here, right through there. Finally leaving this room. Now here's the thing. Those photos are cool, but I'm not gonna tell everyone about them because if they've seen them, they're gonna see my discoveries. So they gotta find it themselves. If they find those photos, dope. We'll see on their videos if they actually find it though. <laughs> gonna head upstairs now. We got some rooms to explore. I think everyone's upstairs now. This door got kicked in. Went up. Already seeing their clothes just chilling, hanging up. Although this was a coat rack, but someone else probably put those there. Maybe other explorers. Here's their little uh, yard. Well, door. <laughs> Here's their little neighborhood. They live at the dead end of the street. All right, so there's even another upstairs, but that is probably the attic. And we'll head up there, but just look how it curves and goes up. Anything kind of spiral in the staircase is amazing. Check out this room. Well, these feel dodgy. But anyways, yeah, pretty standard room. You know, the bed's still here, their desk, but it's nothing like, oh wow, you know what I mean? And look how this is set up. Someone took the ladder and put books on the ladder. And here's the backyard. I do love the color blue though. All right, so that, that one was blue and now this one's like a lime colored green. There's a butterfly in here. But again, all the wallpaper, have you been noticing it in every France video I post? Amazing wallpaper in each room, just cool style. But I actually, there's something about the vibe of this. The whole like red is cool. And what is this for, Dan? Just just use a change to kind of cover yourself in the corner and change. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. We can normally put these up to hide obscure things. So, for example, the, the furnace. Oh. Things that they don't want to be in the line of sight. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because that's an ugly furnace for this house. That does make sense. Well, there's, sh you can say, you can definitely tell it's a girl's room. Not even by the shoes, but the whole red. Whoa, dude, I didn't even see the rosary beads. Rosary beads right there. I don't know what is actually in here. I'll shut this door. Definitely gonna take a picture here for Instagram. I like this one.
one thing I like about the French houses is they keep all their closets hidden where you don't even know they're there. Like they're secretly there. Like, dude, you wouldn't know that's a closet. Same with this one. You wouldn't know that this is a closet. You would never know. There's just a keyhole right here. That's how you know it opens up to a closet. They even try to hide it with the borders, the moldings. Well, coming through here, he, they said there's a lot of bats. Oh, let's go see what these bats are, but... Look at the bathroom. There's a bed in the bathroom, which then makes me think about the whole kitchen thing. How there's a bed in the kitchen. So, I don't know what's going on. Dang. I like the tiles, though. 1950s and 60s, we would do that in the United States, too. We probably got it from the French. Got a lot of things from the French for, for housing and art. That's for sure. What's What happened? There's bats flying around. Big bats. Massive bats. Where, though? Yeah, they come out of you. Let me go what, to the subject to where I nearly got arrested for filming bats in the UK. Oh, yeah. I actually sat down with the police in Batman. It's true, though. You want to explain? Tell them the story, actually, real quick. So uh, just real was, fast. So I was filming in uh, an old cottage. I was filming a haunted video, and there were these two bats on the ceiling. And they were asleep. Uh, I stood about here, <laughs> like, the lamp away, and I'm filming these bats. And I'm like, oh, they look really cute. And then I got on with my video, left them to it. And then I got a phone. Uh, no, sorry. I get, I get a, yeah, I get a, a ring doorbell announcement on my phone. By the While we're driving, we're, we're filming abandoned, and it was the police. They were like, we'd like to speak to you. I'm like... What have I done? They're like, we'll call you later. And I'm thinking, oh, damn. All day I'm thinking, what have I done? Yeah. And then they rang and like, yeah, we just want to talk to you about one of your videos. I'm like, oh, what are they going to accuse me of now? You filmed some bats. I'm like, okay, yeah, bats. And they're like, yeah, what you did is illegal. You committed an offence. And anyway, so I had to do an interview with Batman <laughs> and two police officers, right? And they basically told me how it's illegal to disturb them, blah, blah, blah. And it's quite rightly so, because I didn't know this, but when bats go into hibernation, they feed just enough to keep the, the blood temperature down and survive. Now, if you wake them up during that, that, that period of, of hibernation and they can't replenish that energy, they die. So they are very protected, especially like lesser and, and greater horseshoe bats. So, yeah, if you ever come into contact with bats, best thing, just... Just leave, just leave or just yeah, just leave and be. Yeah. Just try and move to another room. And you and see now you know everything about bats. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I would never have known that. Well, they, didn't, they said we're not going to press charges. We're going to educate you because they get this problem all the time. And, yeah. And now I can tell loads of people about. Now it. you just told me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's when they're in hibernation. They're not hibernating right now. Yeah, but even even not hibernating. So yeah. Are, well, where are the bats? Which room? So I know how to avoid it. All right. Let's just what's what's in this room at least. There is a, yeah, literally, there is a giant hole. Screw that, I ain't walking here. The holes are smashed. They had two beds here. That That's cool. I want that blanket. <laughs> I feel like royalty with it. That cross is right here. See, every, every room in France has a cross. Secret door. Does it lead to another room or just a closet? Yeah, it's just a closet. What's in this one? Not a bad room. Kind of basic. Yeah, I'll zoom in a little more. Nothing too crazy set up here. They weren't that wealthy. If you know the other French houses we go to, crazy pianos and then this and then this and then that. So it's not bad. The history of France. We are ending it right here. Right here, guys. We're done exploring the whole entire house. Look at this. Look how far up we go. Three flights of stairs to come straight into the attic. Oh, I didn't even know there was a door here. Look at that. It's empty, though. Super empty. It goes up another level. Look how these doors are. These. I bet you these are 1800s doors. For real. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh, they had a winery. Wow. Look at that. They were aging and everything. Tons of bottles. That's about it. Is that an old oven? They were hanging stuff up here, though. 
But can someone explain to me why they would hang up this piece of wood? Is that for any reason? I don't know. So I'm asking you guys. The hell? Mad bottles. Almost looks like the alchemist house with all these bottles. But what's this one? Looks like a big pipe. They love their magazines. I don't want to get too close. This floor is dodgy. It's going to break. But that's it. There's a date here from 1862. But that also explains what I think why this door is from the 1800s. So pretty sure I'm right. Is there anything up here? Let's see. Empty. That was worth a shot. You never know. You never know what you're gonna find in these abandoned places. Oh. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, wait, I actually wanna see what's in here. I'm scared to step. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. This is the tower. This is beautiful. Guys, look at this. This is what we've seen from the outside I pointed to. This is what we've seen in the picture. It's stone here. And why are there two like old shoes? Like the ladies' shoes, the homeowners. Wow, I can just look out. At one point, explorers, remember. This was beautiful. We were looking out at their yard. The well is right down there. I can barely see it. You won't be able to see it, but it's right where I'm pointing, right there. I'm pretty sure that's it. Just can't make it out here. But this is crazy. I really love this place. It's more than just the creepy bed in that kitchen, which, and all those stuff. It, it does have a weird vibe to it, don't get me wrong. But if I didn't see it like that, and I just kind of went to explore and I went around seeing the before and after pictures here and there, <clears throat> kind of putting some stories together. It is still an amazing place. The valley out here is so good. And the whole tower is awesome. Man, good explorer today. Really loved it. I love exploring. Every day is a new day because you just never know what you're going to find. Every, it might be another house, sure, but it's like, every house is different. That's the thing. I'm gonna bet you not even Dave seen that tower. I'll ask him later, but I don't know, maybe everyone's seen it, but I, I went really in depth on this one. Thought it was awesome. We'll see, they've probably seen it. Getting out of here now. <laughs>